Hello, how is it going? Today we're going to do the top 5 worst cards coming in with the next Runeterra expansion, the Monuments of Power. You guys showed so much support in the last video, we got like over 40 likes, so it was really insane. So these are going to be my opinions and some of the worst cards that have been showcased and we'll probably see no play to like maybe some experimentation and inevitably just they'll fall off completely. But if you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. Thank you always for the support. Let's get it. So the first card we're going to talk about, Honorable Mention, goes to Confront. Now, although Confront is going to see some fantastic plays, possibly from duplicate copies of Shivana. By the way, this is Shivana's uh, signature spell, champion spell. I think Confront as a 3-mana Grant and Ally Challenger is not going to see main deck ability. It is just too slow and there's actually a better option. I think the whole term granting a unit challenger probably isn't going to find that much value. You mostly use the challenger to pull into someone so you can trade off your opponent's units. Your unit is probably not surviving. So granting a unit challenger is not even the best combination of a grant card alongside a keyword because you just won't find that value. It is three mana two, it's so damn expensive. But I think the point here is that Shivana might see potential competitiveness. So kind of dialing down a champion spell kind of makes her a bit more in line. I think that's kind of a trend we've seen. If the champion does seem quite powerful, their signature champion spell is going to tend to be a bit weaker and vice versa. Maybe a champion isn't that fantastic. They have a pretty good champion spell, like Heimdinger, for example. Although he's kind of an okay champion at the moment, not too fantastic, but progress day is actually pretty insane sometimes. But yeah, come front, three mana, grant an uh, ally challenger. I just don't, I don't see how this is going to see main deck ability at all. Number five, Trevor Snoozebottom. Support Kraden attacking Mumble Sprite with my supported allies stats. Now, this is probably one of the ones that I choose that I don't think is going to be very good. I'm ready to be wrong though. I did hear Swim's opinions on this card. He sees some potential in it. Unfortunately, I just don't see it currently. I just don't see how we can play justify playing a 3 mana 0 3. Obviously, you could play this later into the game. I don't even see this being a fantastic top deck. Like if we're trying to combo with another big unit on the field, get that elusive mumble sprite with big stats, I, I just don't see it. And obviously this is best played later in the game. At the same time, I don't see how top deckness is going to help you too much. Like units, the thing about this game is like, it's pretty hard for you to stick a board onto the field consistently. And then like you want to be playing on curve all the time. And this just isn't going to feel like a good card in your hand. A lot of the time there's gonna be some maybe some cool highlights but i mostly think this is a meme it's just so hard to play a three mana zero three this no matter what the environment or the situation i can't see justifying playing snooze bottom over just playing a big unit with elusive maybe and trying to end the game too slow uh it's stats suck maybe if you gave it like an attack like one attack even makes it a little bit better but I just don't see it. And I, the, one of the combos I think could work pretty well with it is playing it alongside Lulu. But the issue with this mostly is that they cost the same mana. Make this two mana, I can maybe see it. But as of right now, I just don't see how this gets the job done in any format. Next up, let's talk about the University of Piltover. And why I'm going to put it number four on the list of the worst cards I've seen. Because strictly, this card has the ability to win games issue here is that random cards and they're fleeting now the start at the round start discard your hand it is not the most fantastic build around card and relying on randomness to try and win the game can be good sometimes one out of ten games you might do something nutty but in general in the decks this kind of can slot into like discard aggro maybe casino it just seems like just not that great i'm not gonna lie you might find three expensive cards and be able to play one thing that's cool I, unironically playing it alongside jinx as well is just like you have to have you have to be able to play the cards right to get the rocket it's at the round start and then they'll be fleeting so at the end of the turn they'll discard you won't get the rocket and yeah it's a bit of a problem you might find some unplayable cards and you know you can't even literally play them i can't think of an example right now maybe like noxian fervor if you find a couple of other spells is this chaotic it's going to be number four on the list because you can probably play it in some decks and win some games. I think Jinx is a better win condition in discard aggro. I think like slot bots and twist of fate is a better win condition. It's yeah, it just doesn't seem like a fantastic card and I just don't see 
it's really providing that much value unironically even though it does generate lots of value we'll wait and see i'm convinced this is going to be a bad card mostly a meme but until then number four one of the worst cards i've seen number three let's talk about k Dragon, the infernal the nine mana nine six dragon when i'm summoned grant other dragon allies everywhere plus two plus two my main concern about this card is that it is strictly just too slow they could have at least made this a 9 mana 9 9 honestly i don't think that would have been much of an issue arguably it could be a blowout but this is going to be too late into the game where i think you're, you're most likely looking to play a really in solar ramp at this time anyway it just doesn't seem like you're going to be able to like win the game more by granting your dragons more attack the issue with this card is mostly that it's 9 mana and it's a 9 6 I, I just I don't see you know there's some other fantastic cards that around about this mana cost just end the game we're talking like around about like war mothers going into like atrocity we're talking like even Lidros for example into atrocity aggro decks have just killed you before then even mid-range decks which we might see some dragon experimentation don't look to try and end this game around this time we're looking for rallies we're looking at ways of closing out the game and imagine coming into turn nine and you just slap down a Kadrig in the infernal that's cool and then your opponent the following turn slaps you with a trindamir and then atrocity i don't see it i can't justify its stat line decrease the effect arguably is going to be pretty cool it's just an extremely win more card it is it is so much of a win more card that it ends up not winning more anyway i don't see it number three in a list we'll see what happens in the future but as of right now i don't see it as being super main deckable and we can't justify the granting of dragon allies and not to mention Lee Sin's already kicked you in the face before this even comes down build water burn you're dead number two let's talk about crumble and why this card is absolute poo poo five mana slow speed spell kill an ally to kill a unit or destroy a landmark this doesn't justify running crumble just for the ability to kill a landmark I'd rather it was simply five mana kill a landmark. That's probably going to be better than this card. And even then landmarks are not probably going to be that fantastic. The main issue with this is that it is also slow and we have to kill an ally. The only deck I can see ever considering this is an undying deck. And at that point, I don't think it's even worse. It's too expensive and it slows down your tempo too much. Undying already kind of struggles to have the ability to navigate an aggressive deck against your opponent while they're still hitting you in the face and you're trying to like set up all the undying to kill your opponent you're not going to have time to stop and play crumble to kill your opponent's landmark this does this doesn't seem like a fantastic card and other than undying nothing like truly wants to be killed by crumble like it's it's not much of a payoff i don't think you'd even slot this in as a one of it just sacrifices your deck too much and as we go further and further into new cards and more expansions deck slots are going to become more strict i don't see crumble getting the job done honestly i would rather play the uh, one mana burst speed spell from bilgewater with undying that allows us to grant enemies vulnerable and then just kill them that way the main reason why i look at this card is because shadow Wild's way of being able to deal with landmarks too so only if landmarks are that competitive will this card even be considered and even then is it worth it i do not think so so that's crumble that's number two on my list let's go to number one now if anybody guesses what i believe the worst card is congratulations you've done a good job sunk cost what a load of horse manure sunk cost eight mana slow speed spell shuffle a unit or landmark into its deck wow I don't think I need to explain why this card is just dog shit. Look at it. It's almost as bad as Crumble, but worse. Shuffle a unit or landmark into its deck. Vengeance costs seven mana. Like, you've got to be kidding me. At least you could have made this a fast speed spell. Like, look at Riptide. I don't know. Like, I, as I said with Crumble, we cannot justify playing these cards just for the ability to also interact with landmarks. This is so goddamn expensive. I would rather just like play Kadra in the next turn and look, I I don't see it working. Honestly, the shuffle unit or landmark into its deck is kind of cute, but I think at this point you're looking for more removal and you're hoping the game's over by now. If you're playing Suncost on turn eight, you're probably losing the game. 
because this is, this is always going to be a reactive card. It provides like little to no tempo and it doesn't help you to finish your opponent. It's, it's just a super feels bad card and unfortunately uh, Bilgewater kind of got the lackluster tools in terms of being able to deal with landmarks. I just don't see it. Yeah. Is there anything funny you can do with Suncoso? There's a couple of memes where you can shuffle your own mutes into your deck to avoid fatigue. But that's just, that's a meme and a half. And that wraps up what I honestly feel are some of the worst cards we have seen from the expansion. I would love to hear your thoughts. What did you think were the worst cards? Did I miss any cards? That's the main point here. These are my personal opinions. Take it as you will. If you do not like them, don't forget to dislike the video. If you enjoyed the way I spoke about the cards, consider leaving a like. It helps out a lot. You guys have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the new expansion.